Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall, Wall Twins. Twins. And today we cook. Wait. It, it, we make. We prepare. We're doing something a little bit different. In fact, for our Griddle Nation, for our Blackstoners, this isn't exactly a Blackstone cook. However, it is something that can help enhance many cooks. You've probably seen us do the, use the guacamole in our fajitas. You've seen us use it in our steak quesadillas. And today we wanted to show really one of my favorite guacamoles I've ever had. Super simple to make. So simple. Brett's gonna walk us through it, but if you wanna see our take on this amazing dish, guacamole, then stick, I said guacamole. <laughs> If you want to see our take on this amazing guacamole, then stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's I one know. of them. That's the I'm other the one. one. I'm the but, other one. Like we said, welcome back. However, if this is your first time here with the Wall Twins, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do together, which is usually just hanging out, cooking, making things, and showing how we enjoy it as well. We are passionate about learning how to cook and then spreading the word and sharing so other people can enjoy it the way that we do. And, we, and the ultimate thing is we try to take the mystery out of the cooks, out of the making things, because I think some people get so intimidated. If it's not like Gordon Ramsay, then you can't do it. And the good news is you don't have Gordon Ramsay yelling at you. You got <laughs> we'll us yell at you. Cheer you on. You on. That's, That's right. right. There we go. So Brett is going to walk us through this, but before we do, Brett, I'm going to walk you through this. <laughs> How long were you waiting for that one? I just popped in my head. <laughs> He deserves that too. But Brett, talk to us about the groceries. What do we got going on? All right, on so what we have here is we are going to be using cilantro in here. You can see it here we got some lime juice. We are cheating by using the bottle. <laughs> Instead of the fresh lime. This is fresh lime juice. Yep, it's we've got, we and then out. we've got five uh, avocados. Normally we'll go two, two regular, but because these are smaller, we're going to go five. We're going to actually use about one tomato. We are using Roma tomatoes, as you can see here. Red onion, we'll use about half this onion and a little bit of salt and one clove of garlic. Normally we do get regular Haas avocados de Mexico <laughs> when we went to the store. Avocados from Mexico. Avocados de Mexico. That's right. Okay. I don't know how we're going to keep doing that. They actually happen to be out at the store, but they did have the petite ones. So we went ahead and grabbed these petite. That's why we're using five instead of typically And we this. figured we'd get the avocados that match our physique. Petite. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's a stretch, literally. But typically we'd use three avocados because we just have the petites, we're gonna use five. But Brett, should we break it down and get going Let's on Let's do it? this. All right, Brett, start walking us through this, prep us. What are we doing first? All right, today we are gonna start with the cilantro. Now, one word of advice I wanna tell you with cilantro is once you get it home, you still need to rinse it because there's a lot of sand from this, from this vegetable. So in fact, the best way to do it, rinse it into a bowl and then you'll pull it away. You'll see the sand in the bowl and kind of keep doing that until you're done. So that has been done here. And so now we're gonna use about three teaspoons here. Tablespoons. So we're getting about three tablespoons worth of cilantro. And this smells absolutely amazing. Now, a, a, a bit of advice. We know our mom hated cilantro. Mm -hmm. We understand there are people whose palates just don't agree with cilantro. You can make this without cilantro and it is gonna be just as good. We happen to prefer and love the cilantro. Oh man, that smells so divine. <laughs> Brett did an excellent job getting this very finely chopped. I don't know that I would have had that patience. <laughs> Patience, you got All right, go ahead and the put process. the lawn clippings in. The oh, lawn clippings. Let's get the tomato. Once again, using our very favorite Farmware Edge Keeper knife. Knives. That's right, we are using both of them. Now, I like my tomatoes. I love how very soft, how smooth those cut. Yep, it's amazing how well they do. Tomatoes look fantastic, bro. Next, the onion. So how much would you say about a quarter cup of onion? Yep, quarter cup, yep, exactly. This, and this was a large red onion. Um, in this I'll get like a small red onion and use like half of it, okay. um, if that. So I like the flavor, I don't like when it is overpowering. Now we're down to the free shavaka. You're gonna put the garlic oh. in next. 
Okay, so we got two cloves of garlic. We're just gonna press this really quickly. Mash them up. Guac is done. No, no it's not. Garlic. I mean, oh my gosh, <laughs> garlic is done. Apparently I want this just to be done so fast. And finally, the avocado. There's really no mystery to cutting open an avocado. The key is to just get it all the way around, then twist it open, and then just go ahead and get that nut out. Be careful, don't get your hand. The pit, there you go, the pit. Let me say the nut. All right, there we go. All right, there's our avocados in there. Next is... Tossing some salt. We're Let's get a, a lot of salt. I, daddy like a lot of salt. So does daddy too. <laughs> so does the other daddy. Remember that TV show in the 80s, My Two Dads? My Two Dads. Would you like us to be your two dads? <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're just going to mix that. Brett, how much uh, lime juice would you say was in there? Uh, squirts. <laughs> no, um, we, so we'll say a table. table. We'll say a table. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. It looks so good, bro. This is so simple. It is so easy. It's literally just mixing them all up. Oh my gosh, I'm laughing. That looks so unbelievable. See, you can see why I use the red onion yeah. because it's popping out just like the just like the tomato is so. now this is one that you do you do need to taste along the way you might need a little bit more salt you might want mm -hmm. a little bit of more onion this is something that you perfect along the way mm -hmm. this is a definitely a cook or make mix to taste that's absolutely right dude this smells like a mexican restaurant okay all right there is the guac that cilantro smells absolutely amazing. Now the key to this and the reason why we use a fork is we want to smooth it out a little bit, but we want those avocado chunks. There's just something about getting a good piece of avocado chunked in with the rest of that. But let's go ahead and let's wrap this up. All right, you knucklehead, get on in here. <laughs> I gotta say, it was hard not to just be hovering over Brett and, and dipping in with a chip while he was finishing this up. This, the aromatics of this are insane. This is excellent. It smells like a Mexican restaurant. Absolutely does. You and know what it reminds is, me what's of? What's that? If you've been to um, Epcot, if you've okay. been over in the Mexican area, right? The, oh my the country of Mexico, gosh, right? When you go in there, wow. you can smell that. That's what this smells Who like. Who knew it me. was the smell of the avocado? It was the avocado. The guacamole. The guacamole. All these flavors marry so well together. And Brett, this, seriously, the coloring on that is spectacular. It is beautiful. This is perfect. But like we say, it can look amazing. It does. It looks, <laughs> it looks perfect. Does. It can smell amazing. Hello, uh, Mexico. Hola. But if this doesn't taste amazing, this was all, all for, for not. not. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. Okay. I'm not lying when I say I think this is the best guacamole I have ever had. Ditto. Excuse me, the best guacamole <laughs> I have ever had. Okay. Guac. You know what? Let's don't talk anymore. Let's just eat. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Oh my God. Now, there's literally nothing that I would change on this at all. And you can taste everything in here. The lime juice mm -hmm. that we had in there. The the red onion that adds a, a brightness as well as its its own punch that it brings. The tomato with its sweetness. A cilantro, which of course is its own star and its own right. Of course, these avocados were just absolutely perfect. And the salt. And here's the thing about it. And garlic. This is exactly right. what we used with the steak quesadillas, exactly what we used with the fajitas. Yep. But I don't know if it's just because just tasting this pure, it's got that pure reaction. It's the same. It's fantastic. It's amazing. And I love it. It will actually oh. get better over the next few hours mm. as all these flavors marry together. Mm. And marry. So it's only going to get better. I can't even imagine. Yep. So that's going to be spectacular. It's it is the best guac probably I've ever had. Yep. This is so good. Um, anyways, but aside from coming to make this amazing guac, Brett, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin. No, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget, forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on.